I can't believe this is happening right now. So much to talk about, so much to say, and we're here. Certainly very exciting. I've always been someone that's had a very, very high standard for themselves when it came to Just being out in the world and engaging with people. Wanting to be perfect all the time. Whether it was appearance, vocabulary, articulation, I just wanted to have it all. And this leads me to me wanting to control everything all the time. Everything I did, just always, I need to have control. I need to have control. I need to know the outcome. Which, for certain things, have has, has and did serve me well. For others, not so much. I sometimes need to remind myself that I started this journey at only like 17 years old. I put myself in the game when I was still in high school. never believed in anything that was being told to me when I was in school. I never believed to any of the nonsense that a teenager was supposed to adopt and believe and to live the best years of his life in high school and all this crap. I believed in work. I believed in improving yourself. I believed that if you wanted to make a change, you had to do it today. And so I did that. And it all started with my body. It all started from being that 16 year old, skinny, frail teenager. Very skinny. And I didn't like it. I wanted I wanted to change. I wanted to I wanted to feel strong. Because I know that I knew that in my mind I was strong. I knew that I had a strong mind just because of how I was raised. And so I put it into practice when my heart was completely broken after realizing that soccer was no longer my my journey my path, my love. And that was hard to overcome. But not for one second did I think I couldn't do it. Not for one second did I think I need to stop, I need to quit, this is the end of me. As soon as I got home from that tryout, I went straight to the gym straight to the gym. No time to no time to feel sorry about myself. No no time for any of that. It was time to work. And so I did. So that year I ended up really just isolating myself from everything, everyone. I was just I was just really dedicated to the gym and, and building myself in that because I had so much pain 
and I had so much anger and so much rage that I needed to take it out on something and that's what I did. So I ended up packing around 40 or 50 pounds of muscle in that year and at the beginning people made fun of me from the way I looked all the way to the way I even worked out it was even it became even kind of a a thing in high school that people were making fun of me about was the fact that I went so hard the fact that I tried so hard the fact that I was I was just so dedicated people were making fun of that and I never even knew that until only my senior year so that was a year later when I started to engage a little bit more with people and I was absolutely crazy for my for my passion like I was I was really I was really dedicated to that and as my body built, I got bigger and everything, people started to give me credit. People started to say, oh, you're the man, Uriah. You're that guy. You're this, you're that. And it was so interesting to me that nothing anybody told me actually made me think differently of myself, made me more confident, gave me a little bit of an ego stroke, but it really didn't affect me at all because I knew exactly who those people were before I built what I built. But As someone that growed, not only physically, but mentally, I thought it was correct to take in what people felt, to take in what people wanted to say. And I didn't want to use any of the negativity that came to me to hit back at them. I thought there was no use for that. It wasn't correct. It wasn't the right thing to do. Because a leader doesn't do that. So I showed people. And next thing you know, slowly everyone, almost everyone that I chose to, chose to speak to and give my time to, they ended up joining the gym they ended up working on themselves. And that was, and that was, that was fulfilling to me. That was something that, that made me feel accomplished. So slowly, you know, that starts to come together. So as that happens, then I'm like, I want to share this and I want to share this to not only the people that go to school with me and people that are in my hometown in Canada, I want to share it to the world because I don't know if a lot of you know, but I also grew up in Italy. So I wanted to share it also to people that were on that side, all the people that I knew, all the people that I knew from my childhood and stuff. So then I, I, I begin posting. I begin posting my journey. And I wasn't really sure of how I was gonna do it, but I did it. I took action. And when you take action, that's when you start to figure out as you go on what the what the what the direction is and everything but you must take action
And I was really surprised of, of how quickly everything built up. It went from just a thousand followers to 2,000, and then at one point I got to 5,000, and 6,000, 10,000. And it was, it was obviously behind a lot of consistency and everything, but it was almost unreal for me to, to believe because of how much I lost in life all the way up before this. I was losing all these soccer games. I was losing all these friendships. I lost, I was lo like, I lost my father. I lost, I lost so much family. I was so used to just losing and losing, not getting the girl I wanted. Not being on the team I wanted to be on. Not being on the class I wanted to be in. Being always pushed and let, just always being down. And it was almost unreal for me to believe that I, I was actually succeeding. It was, it was almost unreal. It almost didn't feel real. But then I realized that in all those negative moments of my life, of my childhood, I always chose to pick myself up. I always chose to try again. I always chose to put a smile on my face, even though I was in so much pain. So that was certainly rewarding. Something also that meant so much to me when I was starting with my journey in the gym was the fact that I had nobody to look up to, so therefore I wanted to become the person people could look up to. And it's just crazy how everything turned out. How kids around the world know who I am and are able to strive to be something similar to me and not just kids also you know people adults but it's the kids that really it really just it gets to me because I was that kid once upon a time and I remember I remember the first, um, like I remember seeing like the first like buff body in my life. I was probably like 10 years old or something, and my mom, my mother bought like a, um, like a Hard Rock magazine, no, a Rolling Stone magazine, and there was this guy. He was doing the front lat spread, and I remember seeing that and being like. How is that possible that someone's forearm and someone's bicep and someone's shoulder and chest just it, it just all pops out and there's it's lean and it has veins like how is that possible that a human being can look like that
And prior to that, I was obsessed with with just like action figures. I used to call them mannies, like the little toys. I was just always obsessed with like the wrestlers and just anything that was just built. And maybe some of you can relate to that. And I remember just always loving the, the physical. Like it was always about the physical, the body, the strong, being a man. I was always so obsessed with that. I remember being 10, 12 years old, opening my first Facebook page after my mom finally allowed me to do it. And um, I remember with my, with my fingers, because I was so skinny, I remember pushing my arms up like this and trying to make sure people didn't see it, see the other arm pushing it up to make people think I had a bigger arm. I remember posing and posing with my brother every summer, being like excited to see if I changed physically. And there's so many pictures of, of, of us as kids, of me and my brother, like at the, whether we're at the pool or at the beach or whatever, of just us posing like this, just shit, trying to show our bodies, just trying to show our muscles and stuff. So it's really been a, it's really been like a, an obsession of mine for as long as I can remember when it comes to just a strong body. I can't say bodybuilding because or powerlifting. I can't say that because I never became so obsessed with the sport. I became obsessed with sculpting my body and building my body up like it, it was so personal that to me it's just it's just the body it's just the building of the body so the more I thought about this as I'm speaking today as a man the more I just understood that and understand, I understand that perhaps this is what God wants me to do. That this is my purpose in fact. Because for all the time I've taken off in these past two years, I really was questioning my purpose. I was really questioning the fact that whether I should do this or not, whether I should continue with this. And I can and I can take this back to soccer. When I stopped playing soccer, I knew I knew it was done. But when I stopped posting and I stopped going to the gym, Something about it didn't feel right. And I believe that's why I'm here today. That's why I finally found the courage to, to do this and sit in front of everyone here watching. And sit in front of you. Take a little break.